Whoa. Okay. A little bit of a larger. Highly intelligent eats frostwort. Hello everyone, Thoranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, Episode 7, where this neat little arctic moon has been the source of some pretty cool stuff. I feel like any planet... Whoa! Squirrel. That's a major squirrel moment. What is this? I was just about to say, I feel like any planet or moon that you're on could easily be one that you could spend a ton of time on. And I was just about to say, but we need to get back to our mission in the space station. But look at this place. Call Starship. Yeah. Oh, whoa. Oh, this is like a trading hub. Oh, it is. I wonder if we can do our buying and selling here. Maybe we don't have to go back to the space station. Oh, hi. Director Inuma. Gek something something the trader had been eyeing me covertly and holding its breath but now that I'm engaging them in conversation they become more animated request dialect help please teaches me a word of their language the Gek word for destroy Ooh. okay again I don't understand you faintly unpleasant smell swiftly fades Okay, the trader pecks my multi-tool, leaving a faint trace of drool, and it's made clear they want to open a conversation. No, I'm not going to ask for directions. Sorry, we're going to be leaving. But first, let's clear out our inventory. I believe this is, yes, the trade terminal. Wonderful. Uh, sell items from my inventories, please. Uh, Gravitino balls. I feel like these are important, but we're going to sell them because it has been uh, it has been told to me that early game credits are the most valuable thing you can get, so we're going to sell these. I'm not sure what this is. I feel the hoarder in me wants to hold on to everything as one of those people that will hold their elixirs till the end of the game in case they need them and then never use them, but... We have such limited inventory, we can't really afford to be like that. Ionized cobalt. Look at it all. Okay, that was everything out of my inventory. Let's sell... Gold and silver. I feel like we're just going to hold on to those. The vortex cubes. Yep. Sell those. The ionized cobalt. Wow. Preserved ungulate skull. We're going to sell that as well. Because if we have to get more, we'll just get more. Oh yeah, almost a million credits now. Or units. Buy microprocessors. Well, I guess we don't have to go to the space station. Really, we just need a galactic trade terminal. Okay, so we're going to need microprocessors. Plus 81%. They're not giving me that much if I sell them, though. Hold on. Yeah, exactly. Sell for... Oh, because they have them available for... Yeah, why would they want to buy stuff they... <laughs> I suppose that makes sense. Okay, so we need, what, four more? That's easy. Wasn't even that many credits. New entry guide unlocked interstellar trade. I'm going to have to look at some of that off camera. I don't want to do a lot of off camera work in this series, but I feel like with as much as they've added, I need to go through and read some of these log entries so that I can at least be up to speed with what's going on. Damaged container. Oh, yeah, that's... It's going to be good. That's easy ferrite right there. Oh, don't show me my milestone. Although, oof, entrepreneur. Oh, wow, we ranked that one up really quick. One Gek Relic. Okay, that's cool. Take some more 
rusted scrap. And another Gek Relic. Oh, that's handy because there's all these Gek here. A microprocessor. Are you kidding me? Mental note to self. Be sure to check all the containers nearby before you buy the stuff you need from the Galactic Trade Network. I mean, really? These require Atlas passes. I'm just, I'm just out here on the landing dock. Everybody's dropping their ships down. This ship looks kind of neat. Armor, I'm not going to try to pronounce what they're saying. Trader is clearly excited by my approach. They peck at the list of cargo on their ship. They make it clear the starship is also for sale. Um, I guess let's just look at the starship. I'm curious. Oh, it doesn't compare starship inventories. Theirs already comes with a hyperdrive. So I wouldn't even have to build it. So if I exchanged, it's only 200,000. It does have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. No, it has the same amount of inventory, but it has a hyperdrive already on it. Eh, no. No, 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 no. We need to save up our units. Let's go ahead and gather copper. Okay, so I guess I'm kind of glad we stopped here to trade because otherwise I would have to go to the space station and then come right back. Because now they're saying we need copper. We don't have enough copper. Uh, well, let's meet the rest of the Gek here. Sales Gek Adzif, Adis. Ad Isif. I only understood Gek there. The scent of the trader is as pleasant as it is intoxicating. There's pride in their eyes, perhaps as a result of the flowery gas that has engulfed both of us in the entire facility. I would like more dialect help. The Gek word for friend. Much better than being taught the Gek word for destroy, if I say so myself. Assistant men... Okay, I'm going to have to stop pronouncing their names, too. Hey, we understood two words. It was the same word, but still. Trader clicks their beak with heightened energy. They stare at my exosuit and multi-tool, presumably wondering why I want to talk. Could offer them a gift. I really would rather request dialect help. I really would like to learn more of their words. Gek word for despair. Ooh. Again, questionable word choice. Yeah. Resource analyst Fezbotulov? Yeah, we're going to have to stop pronouncing those. Oh, something friend. Gek, Gek, friend. We're getting there. The life, the life form's eyes widen in surprise when I go to talk to it. They lean back and watch for sudden movements. They have very clearly never seen anything quite like me before. I mime that I cannot speak their language, and increasingly reassured, the beaked trader indicates they're willing to help in exchange for particular elements. Um. Oh, I don't remember what I gave them last time. I guess I'll give them 10 sodium. They teach me some of the dialect of their people. Excellent! Gek word for oxide. Well, this place is really busy, but you know, a lot of these ships are landing. Nobody's really getting off to come over here and trade. <laughs> I wonder if it's like a drive through and they can just sort of like remote beam trade their stuff with the network. That would make sense. Just a lot of activity here. I feel like while I'm here and the Gek are nearby, I should try to give out some of these relics to people that want them. Exporter Apel. I can, I can say that. Hey, friend. Friend. Yeah, good. I am a friend. The Gek examines me as I approach. They are clearly disappointed, although they offer no clues as to why. Oh, shout or stare? Those are my options? I guess I'm just going to stare. The Gek stares back, disdain in their eyes. I leave. 
So I should have shouted? Will you talk to me again? The Gek examines me as I approach. They are clearly disappointed, although they offer no... Yeah, then we're going to shout this time. The Gek is initially started, but then begins to smile. They shout back. If I didn't know better, I would swear they were saying Graw. You just, you just don't have any kind of an exchange for me, do you? It's going to be the same thing every time. Okay, fair enough. Let's go back to this guy. Director Inumai. See if they want a Gek Relic. Scent of the traitor is as pleasant as it is intoxicating. The pride of their eyes. Yeah, the flowery gas. We've we got that one. No, leave. Okay, fine. I leave the Gek be. Does nobody want a Gek Relic? Sales Gek? Trader clicks their beak with heightened energy. They wonder why I want to talk. Yes, ask, offer a gift. Sex. They accept my gift with gratitude. Standing with the Gek has increased. See, that's what we need to do. Friend. Gek. Hmm. A trader recently emitted a sweet-smelling gas. As the scent filters through my breathing apparatus... I wonder at the extra sales this odd evolution in communication must have secured for this strange species. I guess we'll barter what you got. Gives me a package in return. Of a Gek Relic. Really? I think you were also accepting a Gek Relic. Uh, the trader had been eyeing me covertly and holding its breath, but now it's more animated. Uh, teach me another word, please. Gek word for uncommon. Okay, I think that's good. At this point, I believe what we need to do... Whoa, look at this ship. Okay. New Gek rank client. Making progress. Starship of Merchant Yegnin. Let's, let's talk to this individual. I would like to see the stats on your ship. Just so I, I need to start getting an idea of... Whoa. A blade of armor. Efficient thrusters. Doesn't have any missiles, but... Let's look at the pricing. Okay. Mm-hmm. We absolutely need more units. We need a lot more units. And we're, and we're once again running out of inventory space. Let's go ahead and send these Gek relics to the starship. Viking dagger. I don't know what that is, but it's not going to stack very well in my inventory. We'll send that to the starship as well. All right, well, it says we need copper, so we should start looking for copper. Copper deposit, not that far away. I don't think we'll have to... Very technology module, unknown building. Another copper, de copper deposit much further away. Let's go ahead and give a scan. damaged machinery. That copper deposit's actually pretty close. Alright. Whoa. Okay. Just sort of jumped down into it. And these floating rocks. Should be able to get back up there pretty... Who's... Who's yelling? Oh no, I startled those little... Grant Marimas. And you. 
Shy. Okay. I'm always looking at their behavior. Try to get an idea of if I need to be afraid or not. I think that's the hunter that eats frozen meat. Yep. Stalks prey for days. You know what? I don't want to be surprised by you. I'm going to strike while you're eating. Get some sodium. That's the copper deposit that's close by. Okay. Uh, we're going to need the terrain manipulator. Oh, yeah. Huge copper deposit. Well, not... Well, maybe. It might not go that deep, but... At least it's not on the, on the side of a cliff like the last one. Two hundred and fifty, it says we need. Okay. I think we're gonna get it all. Mm, maybe not. There's some more over there. Weapon charge depleted, and we're one, co we're one copper shy. One. Oh no, we're not. 250 and one. It says we have 200 and. Uh, terrain manipulator charges with pure ferrite. There we go. Find some chromatic metals. All right, let's go back to our ship. There's still aliens we haven't identified yet. Hold on. I'm tracking an unknown life form across the way. And I like to catalog the life forms. We've got a lot of nanites. Whoa, okay. A little bit of a larger. Highly intelligent, eats frostwort. Toughened skin. Okay, alright. Large animal living in the trees. Where are we at with discoveries? There's only one species left that we have yet to locate on this planet. Now, I dare say we're going to have to hang out until we find it. Metal fingers. I, I'm going to know what these metal fingers are. My curiosity is, is just killing me. We have enough sodium. We can recharge our shield if we need to. Okay, metal fingers of gold, I guess. It's not giving me gold, though. Oof, it's going to take a little bit to carve through this thing. Cargo drops. Just scanning for some unidentified life forms. I don't want to get jumped by some vicious hunter. Wow, these absolutely do take a little bit. Let's... Let's 
Yeah. I feel like... Hmm. Oh, I'm hitting the wrong button, that's why. Ah, it's X. So let me let me try to do let me try to learn these these quick commands. Yep, with the sodium. Thank you. Good deal. That one will have to go in my inventory every time. I need to get more and more familiar with them. Wait, did I get gold? No. But I'm not seeing a progress bar on it anymore. Oh, 122 gold. Okay, I don't know if that's going to be worth my time just because of how long it takes to to mine it up with our current beam power. I bet we could. I bet we could with a little bit of work get enough credits or units to be able to buy that new multi-tool at the space station, because that thing looked pretty neat. What, it was just over a million, right? Alright, let's head back to the ship. Yep, we'll go ahead and grab whatever's in here. Dihydrogen jelly. Seems like that one's always going to be valuable. Sodium. Okay. It's free resources, and we get rust for ferrite. Ouch! that hostile flora. Be careful. There's more of it right there. You better stay away. What is this tree? Frost crystal. Hazmat gauntlet required. Hmm. Okay. Alright, well we don't have that. I don't want to pick up anything that requires hazmat gear and we don't have it. That sounds like a recipe for failure right there. I do hope I can get back up here safely. I didn't even think about that when I jumped down. I would imagine I can. Here, if we just stand right at the edge and we go full jetpack, we should be fine. Ooh, barely. Barely. I think they did it that way on purpose. Wonderful. You guys mind if I set up a refiner right here? Is that going to bother anybody? I hope not, because it's about to happen. Okay. As long as nobody has any complaints. Let's put in the condensed carbon. Get one spot of our inventory cleared up, and then... Oh, what happens if I refine gold? Ah, uh, pyrite. Um, copper, copper, begin. We're just one life form away from having discovered all the life forms on this planet. That's a neat looking ship. I don't know if I want to leave this this arctic moon without finding the last life form. It'd be really swell if we could find an exosuit upgrade. OK. 
Okay, well, while that's working, I think we can... Well, we can afford to s sell one of our micro processors, but it's not going to be worth much money here because this is where they, they manufacture them. It's, it's a high-tech... So if we look at the... Oh, what is it? Under discoveries? Right. Economy, power generation, wealthy... I guess I don't know enough about that to know what that means yet. Either way, we're going to manufacture this hyperdrive. Because it seems like they want us to go ahead and depart this system. After we built our little d desert shack <laughs> on the desert planet, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We've got to go. Boy, some of these things take a lot longer to refine than others. Copper, cadmium, emerald, and indium all become chromatic mirror, uh, chromatic metals. The rarer the stellar metal, the more chromatic metal it will produce. Okay. Probably something we'll need a significant amount of. Um, construct the hyperdrive... Access the starship inventory. Construct the hyperdrive. Okay. There you go. Done. Craft warp fuel. Find antimatter. Huh. Well, before we do all that, we're going to go ahead and process all of this rusted metal. Ooh, that takes so long to process, though. That's fine. While we're doing that, let's check out the Galactic Trade Terminal. We'd like to sell some items. I think... Um, uh, no... As much as I don't want to hold on to this micro, this one microprocessor, I think we have to. Uh, we can sell the dioxide. I don't see a reason to hold on to that necessarily. Because we're probably not going to get more of that after we leave here. The ion battery we can use to charge our, our hazard protection. Oh no. What's, what's going on over here? Oh, we're out of fuel. There you go. Alright, back to the trade terminal. Let's look at our starship inventory. It really didn't take us much to get the silver or the gold. Let's sell the Gek relics. I kind of want to make the Geks like me more while we're here. Corvax, we could sell that. I haven't seen any Corvax. We'll go back to the... Uh, no, we already been to the space station. Yeah, we'll sell it. Might as well. Viking Dagger. There is a Viking at the space station, I believe. Gold for 40000 I think that's a good deal. Silver, we might as well. We have pretty limited inventory, so until we're swimming in inventory space, I don't see a reason to hold on to this stuff. Yes, how about a Gek Relic? Accepts my gift with gratitude. Excellent. I don't suppose you're going to let me turn around and give you another one. Yeah, they look at me with boggle-eyed curiosity. They click their beak a few times, emit a neutral scent, and wait for my request. How about another Gek Relic? Excellent! Boy, Director Inuma really likes me. Will you give me directions now? Yes. Offers directions to a place of interest. Ooh.
ancient ruins. Um... Yeah, I don't suppose you could lead me to an exosuit upgrade instead. These aliens seem to be all about these ancient ruins. Ugh, I don't know if I want to sit here and wait to process all of this ferrite dust. We might have to go seek answers among the stars. Are those ruins off planet? It doesn't say off planet. No, the beam the beam drops down to there. Okay. We'll use uh, starship fuel for that. Hyperdrive takes a warp cell, antimatter-based fuel. Ooh, I don't think we have any of that. But look at all this space we made in our inventory. Go ahead and spend some oxygen. Look at that, now we have all this ferrite dust. I think we should go ahead and keep, I think we should keep processing it. Just to get it out of our inventory. I mean, oh look, that's all of it. Okay, good. I wonder if we can leave that running and go check out the ancient ruins. I think we're just going to leave that running here right now. Is there any way I can mark this place on the map so I can come back to it? That would be really handy. I didn't see one of those things that said save and chart. Is there one maybe down? Yeah, I'm not sure. I don't want to lose this location. And I wish I could mark it. Okay, let's... Let's undock for a second. And see if... doesn't really seem like there's a way to have this location marked on the map, and I'm really worried if I go to those ruins, I will not be able to find this trading post again. That says unknown building. I wonder if I have to use my visor. Let's let's try a few things. See if we can get this place saved here. Custom marker. Should be no, it's over there. Okay, how about custom marker here? Perfect. And in that way, we should be able to, as long as this has fuel, which it doesn't, obviously. I'm gonna go ahead and refuel. Take the ferrite dust. Did we really use all of our carbon? Oh, wow. Clearing out that inventory fast. Okay, well, we'll have to gather some more carbon. But we can still run this thing while we're gone. Okay, and while that's running, we're going to go check out these ancient ruins and see if we can get some more money because now we have a custom marker uh, that went away because I walked over it. So let's place a new one. Perfect! And we'll go depart. And we shall find some more credits at the ruins, maybe another fossil. And then we'll come back and we'll collect our stuff. So we're just going to fly, I'm just going to fly up for a second. 
and then slow down and spin around and make sure that we are ooh ooh careful yeah that could have been a lot more graceful okay custom marker is still there so that's good that means we're gonna head over to the ancient ruins now looking at the time that's actually where we're gonna wrap things up we'll have to do that next episode this has been no man's sky episode 7 thank you so much for joining me i hope you've had a good time watching because as always i've had a good time playing be sure to come back next time as we make even more money and hopefully seek answers among the stars but until then take care <laughs>